Hey basketball players, today we are going to talk to you about the Kevin Durant behind the back crossover jump shot. If you are a small forward, this is definitely a video that you're going to want to check out. Okay, so just like how this move is just basically named, you should probably already know the basics behind this move, and that is you're gonna be dribbling behind your back for one, then you're gonna be taking a small hop back away from your defender and taking that shot. So this is a move that you would do on the attack. If you have a defender on you, you're going to be attacking the rim. Now when you're attacking the rim and you find the fact that your player your defender is maybe a half a step ahead of you or a whole step ahead of you and you have some help defenders so you can't just spin off and attack the rim because then you're going to bring in those help defenders then this is a move that you might like to use so what we're going to be starting with is we're obviously going to be attacking our player and he starts getting ahead of us in that case we're going to stop we're gonna pivot our stop. We're not going to come to a jump stop. We're gonna be pivoting our stop. So we're gonna be taking our left foot. We're gonna plant that foot. We're still dribbling. And we're gonna be turning our body. And now we're going to be then dribbling the ball behind our back. So a little bit quicker is we're gonna be attacking, attacking, attacking. And then take that step down. We really wanna kick that foot down. When we kick that foot down, it's going to transfer a lot of our momentum that we had into that foot. When we kick that foot down, now we've got all of the weight on this foot and we wanna be on our toe. We do not wanna be on our heel. As soon as we go down on our heel, that's taking away all of our power and transferring it into the ground. And we really don't wanna do that. So let's go a little bit quicker now for this first part. So what we're gonna be doing is attacking, attacking, attacking transferring that power and transferring it into this muscle on our toes this way now after we've completed that behind the back dribble we can step back just a little bit and now we can get our shot off so now what this move is going to look like is we're attacking we're attacking we're attacking we're hopping off and now we're able to get that shot up so a little bit quicker is going to be dribble 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 attack and then back. Of course, you can still use this move as a regular crossover as well. That's totally an option. However, Kevin Durant, however, does do it behind his back, kicks that foot down, steps back and takes that shot. And this is a really great move for you to do. Now, if let's say, for example, we have now come into this crossover We've done our step back. We haven't picked up the ball yet. We can actually do a hesitation off of this. So what I mean by that is we can dribble in now, come off and then hesitation and then drive back. So if you've done this move two, three, or even four times and that player now knows what you're gonna do. And as soon as you step back, he starts jumping. Instead of picking up that ball and taking that shot and possibly getting blocked, what you can do is attack, jump off, and then hesitation and attack that rim as well. And this is a great move for you to do as a counter if a defender starts cheating. Now I hope that today's video helps you become a better basketball player. If it does, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.